what's going on youtube so a quick video here to tutorial on the new lord order mod 2 uh, which is available for city skylines so it's a nice quick tool uh, easy tool to sort out your mods uh, your assets and that type of stuff um, into a profile so it's easier to load it into skylines for when you boot up the game so first thing you want to do is jump into city skylines workshop and a load here for uh, search here sorry for the load order mod 2 so this one has just been released so there was original version it's now released into um number two currently still in beta um but it does work really well so the minute i'm still already subscribed so you want to do click your subscribe button here it'll do your download add it into your steam library um and then the first thing you want to do then is jump into City Skylines, so load up the game. Um, you'll have the main menu will come up, and you'll have the load order mod tool um, in the main menu. So once you've gone into that, it'll if you go to your desktop, once you've closed City Skylines, go to your desktop, and it'll give you an icon here for your desktop. What you want to do then, so if you load up your tool, so it'll look like this. So let me maximize that so you can see everything. So once you load up there, you'll have um, your first landing page will be dashboard, which will list the your current profile that's uh, enabled, uh, the mods that are, how many are in that profile, how many assets are in that profile, and it'll also give you a compatibility report as well, looking at some um, issues that you may need to look at. So to enable uh, profiles, or if you have profile you want to install yourself that you've maybe downloaded from uh, Biffer for example um, he has quite a few profiles that he shares on his discord that you want to install so we want to do because obviously this works on profiles um, you want to save it into the folder first onto your file explorer so I'll show you where this is so if you open up your file explorer most of them will be installed, so if you go into your uh, app data and local under you know, under your user. So if you've got app data local, class loader, city skylines, load order two, and profiles. So once the download, so if I actually know because it's already there. So with your profiles, what you want to do once you've downloaded that off uh, Discord or wherever it may be, you want to paste it into here. So you paste your uh, .json file into your profiles. And then once you've done that, you jump into jump into uh, Load Order Mod 2. Go into Profiles here. And then you should have your profiles showing up on here. So if I click just save just to get rid of that. And if you click for your profiles, you'll have all your profiles here. So the ones you've put into your file explorer will show in this view uh, once you've done that you'll jump into so say if we installed the profile of new so if you click on this profile here, i'll click on load profile you'll have a couple options so build city or make assets so it depends obviously what this profile is to be used for um, i normally just keep it on this one or this one but obviously entirely depends on what your users is going to be uh, for city skylights so whether you're just building cities or if you're actually making assets yourself so you loading screen mod is another really good one that you will need to help out um sorting your mods and your assets once you're into the game itself and then you've got a couple of different options for your launch settings left hand traffic etc which will automatically uh kick into action once you load up city skylines once you've selected all your buttons there you want to click your save button at the top and then next bit is where you want to select your uh, mods and your assets that you want uh, enabled on this profile itself so first you want to do if you go into mods so on here it'll list all the mods that you've currently got um in the profile so any mods uh, they're in in that profile itself regardless of obviously whether you're uh, subscribed onto them um, it should tell you maybe not subscribed it'll give you some errors on the front screen like we showed earlier so you have list every single mod that you've got on here 
and what you want to do to select which ones you want to enable, which ones you don't, you've got these checkboxes down on the left hand side. Which will basically, if you click it, on highlight means it's not going to be included in the profile when it's loaded on City Skylines, and ticked is obviously when it's going to be included. Once you, if you unsubscribe for a mod or an asset, for example, this will automatically update based on what you've done in the uh, in the workshop itself. A couple of different options. So you've got show filters, which we can filter down to excluded or included, depending on what you selected down here, and then obviously which mods are located on your local or with the workshop as well so you might download anything outside of the workshop and that will list them in here a couple of difference so easier you want to search by status package status click on any of them you can filter down nice and easy to whichever you want to select severity is if any have got issues so like we showed earlier on them three tiles once you clicked into the profile it'll tell you if it's got minor issues, major issues, or if you should uh, unsubscribe from that mod or asset within the workshop itself. So if we filter to minor issues, for example, a couple here, it'll list all the minor issues. You can jump into each individual mod itself. Um, the details are in your compatibility report. It'll tell you why it's got a minor issue against that mod. If you want to unsubscribe from that directly from the load order mod, you only want to do is right click on it and then you've got unsubscribe from this package and that will automatically go into a uh, link up to the workshop on Steam and unsubscribe for you. And again, once you've done that, this will disappear uh, from your list. You can also click on the nice quick link here uh, to Steam. It does go directly to that mod page, um, but it does open up Chrome or whatever your default browser will be, it doesn't jump into Steam. Um, so you will have to log into your browser at that point if it's not already logged in. So if I just put that filter back on, uh, take that filter off, sorry, and then tags is literally what tags are against uh, that mod. So whether it be a map theme, uh, just a mod itself or a theme mix, etc. And then profiles, so you can filter down to whichever profiles you've got currently uh, installed on your load order mod two, and also within your files on your file explorer as well. So you there the so you've got a couple of options there as well. So describe date update, etc. You can filter down to whichever dates you need in there. A couple of variations that you can filter from. Um, so if you go into show actions. So this one, so once you've, so if you say if you put, um, I don't know, a tag of map theme, for example, in there, and say these all three were unselected. So you can either, these quick actions here, so you can either click on this one to exclude all items and list everything listed here based on that tag will be excluded if you click this button. And so if I click it, I'll show you. Exclude items or list, it'll unselect them all and they won't load into that profile. And same again, if you click include all items in that list, they include it in the profile uh, once you load up into C Skylines. So I'm going to just take that off that filter. And you've also got up here your default sorting. So you can filter by uh, various different ways uh, the name, file size, update time, etc., and stuff like that. So with the assets, pretty much exactly the same lo uh, layout. So again, you've got your fillers, you've got your actions. So again, this will list every single asset you've got subscribed um, on your workshop or local if you have downloaded any elsewhere. So again, you've got a list. Oops. Oh. Well, mouse went a little bit dodgy then. So on here, you've got list here will tell you how many assets currently showing how many assets are included um, in the profile so uh, basically any of these ones that have got ticks and again it'll tell you the full total of how many assets currently you've got available to um, put onto your profile and load it up into um, city skylines and like i said earlier these uh, filters are exactly the same across all of them so you can filter down, so obviously tags, you've got a lot more tags on here. So say if you want just so property call, 
uh, decal, you can. And if you want to show any pop decals that are under residential, you can. So you can put multiple tags on here. So say if we do road, um, we'll try road and park. No. So road and prop, there you go. So you've got two tags on there. So they've got, so you can see there, so you've got a prop tag and a road tag. So it'll list everything based on which tags you've selected uh, in this filter list. So let me just take off that. Once you're happy uh, with everything that you've selected on here and selected in your mods as well, best thing to do, uh, jump back into your profile, and then click the little save button here. And that'll just save any little changes um, that you've made and through there. If you've got DLCs um, up, uh, downloaded as well and bought um, via Steam, it will list everything in here as well. So your DLC in here and your uh, content creation packs as well. So it'll list every single one uh, that you've currently got available to you. And these um, slightly less filters that you've got. So you've got exclude items list and include items list. So these are the only two filters you can apply uh, to this one. Um, so you've got two little filters here as well. So your DLCs, which is all these. And then all DLCs will be every single one uh, that is available in Steam. So it'll include the ones you've bought and it'll also include the ones uh, that you don't currently own as well. And it does have a nice little quick link again uh, that will take you into the Steam um, page for City Skylines. Again, it will load up in your browser rather than loading up into uh, Steam. So just be wary of that. Um, that you make sure that you are signed in just to make it a bit of easy access. A couple of other little bits of um, the load on a mod tool, uh, too, sorry. you got your utilities, compatibility report, and your helps and logs of utilities. So again, you can put a Steam collection URL in here and it'll load up that collection overall straight into load on a mod 2. Um, and then you've also got these two buttons so view and subscribe to missing assets and view and remove unused assets which would be nice and handy for ones where it's taking up a lot of space so you can click on these to obviously get rid of some of those compatible report i think is the one that's coming soon in the next update so again this is in beta so there's a couple of options that are still uh due to come very soon okay so the compatible report it'll just give you a bit more detail of um the assets and mods that you've got available and there is nothing where issues um, will be lying as well. Helps and logs, again, is another one coming soon. A couple more details in there, give you some guides and stuff like that as well, I'm guessing. And then you've got your options. So you've got a couple of preferences here you can choose from. So show dates relative to the current time. Increase list item size on hover. Uh, disable new subscribe mouse by default. And disable newly subscribe assets by default as well. Hide single asset packages from packages page and hide mods. So there's a couple of different options you can choose from. Again, same with the settings there. User interface, you can change your language, uh, improve your translations, your theme and UI, so you can change that to bright, which is very bright, which we won't do, because that is hurting my eyes. So there's a couple of options there you can change the color and stuff like that. And a couple of different options for your help. So you jump into the Discord um, for the developer of this tool. You can open a guide, which I think opens up um, your browser, which will show you a quick guide as well. And then reset options. It'll reset everything um, back to default as well. And then finally, your advanced settings. So it's your buff of include and enable stats for mods. So as it says there, enable this option will let you change both include and enable stat, uh, states of mods similar similar to the original load on mod tool. Show extra launch options and then show folder settings. So basically that is how you um, install profiles onto load order mod uh, 2. It shows you, shows you how to select which mods you want, which assets you want. Um, so it's very easy to do, um, and it just makes loading up uh, City Skylines and which profile um, a lot quicker. 
and with the loading screen mod as well it does improve the load time a lot more as well so i highly recommend it um if you do have any more questions uh, regarding this tool please drop a comment down below um and i'll answer as much as much as i can make sure you do like this video subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy it um and let me know down below if you want to see more videos like this um and i'll catch you all on the next one peace out guys